the movie theater. Right. Did you work there, or like, how did you? I was a firefighter when the place burned. Okay. Here's when it burned. Fires. So you're one of the responders. Yes. One of many. And why? Why did you decide to save these things? They were laying on the streets. I picked them up. You just figured you'd pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, you never know what you find there. That's true. Around. There was a lot of these. These were all over the place. The tickets. Did you go to this movie theater often? Yeah. Yeah. Always had. Uh, I just talked to a gentleman down there. His his wife worked there. Mm -hmm. But um, I always had a problem because I'm tall. They they wanted me to to pay adult fee. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the one girl, hell, I know. We were just talking about mm -hmm. she. She, she knew I wasn't that old. <laughs> so she didn't make you pay the adult fee? Well, I had two movie theaters at, at, the, at that time. Okay. Did they ever rebuild it afterwards? No, no. Never. The vacant lot today. Everybody, well not everybody, a lot of people thought it was going to fall down after the fire. Mm -hmm. So they hired a contractor and it took him two more months to tear it down than what he thought because it was so well built. Wow. Okay. So why did you decide to bring these things today? Like what? Well, I've been hanging on to them for a long time. I thought, well, probably there's a lot of people don't even know there was a theater there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it might be interesting to get them out. I do have a piece of the curtain from the stage, but I can't find it. <laughs> It's in a big brown envelope, but I can't find it. Um, so you said the movie theater was never rebuilt, but did they ever build something on that property? No. It's just it's an empty... The, the vacant lot today. Okay. Right next to the, the cop agency. And a mural. They have a mural on the theater. Yeah, it, uh, yeah that's an interesting mm -hmm. side thought. The one side of the lot is an office building, mm -hmm. and on the side of it is a, a mural of people going to the theater. We did that, uh, what, four or five years ago, they did a series of murals around town. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, for any folks unfamiliar with Milton watching this video, what does your item tell them about your town? I tell them that we had two movie <laughs> theaters. Mm -hmm. Lewisburg had some, Watson Town had, and going to the movies was what you did. Now we have kids getting in trouble, there's nothing to do. <laughs> but uh, the Capitol showed the better films, the other theater showed the rougher ones, the cowboy movies, mm -hmm. gangster movies. So the one that showed the better films is the one that burned right. down? Right. Okay. They were well in the process of, of remodeling it. And, Do you, uh, I don't know what went wrong. Something went wrong. You guys uh, don't know what caused the fire? No. It was undetermined. Which means, doesn't mean they don't have any ideas, it just means for the record they're not saying right. something that happens in the fire service quite a bit. People go, well, what do you mean you don't know how it started? Well, you know how it could have started. Right. But you don't, you can't prove it. Right. So how do you think that it could have started? Probably something that they they were working on, might have been wiring, might have been, I don't know if they were doing, I doubt they were doing any welding. Right. And uh, I don't know. Mm. It was just going good when we got there. Were there a lot of people there or was it? At, at the fire? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it attracted a lot of people. There was a lot of smoke. People saw it, came downtown. Mm -hmm. That's, one of the main streets in, in town, too. Okay. Were there a lot of people in the movie theater when the fire happened? No, no, no. No. I'm not even sure if the contractor was there. Okay. The, I think the owner came during the fire, but I'm not sure if he was there. Maybe he was working on something. Mm -hmm. okay. hard, hard, hard to tell. That was a lot of years ago. There's a lot of people in Milton probably just can't even think of the fire. Number 20. So, I worked uh, 
two blocks from the firehouse. Mm -hmm. Back then, industries allowed the firemen to leave work to, to fight fires. Today, they, they don't do that. Right. But uh, so we were there quick, and the, you know, it was already things were going to pot by then. <laughs> so yeah. this was also in the fire. Yes, this is a, this is what I've been told. This is the one of the lenses from from the camera. Mm, okay. And uh, when they were tearing the building down, the, the camera was still in there. And this came out. I grabbed it. But you only grabbed this. You didn't grab the whole camera. Mm -hmm. No, that back in those days, that was a big mm -hmm. box. Right. <laughs> it wasn't digital like like today. Right. <laughs> It was, I don't know if that was, I, maybe you know, didn't they used to call them carbon arc lights or something? Not sure. Carbon like that, there was a big, I'll call it a ball, but I don't mm -hmm. know if it was a ball. In the middle, it was like, I think carbon arc or something like that. That sounds a little familiar. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with like film stuff, but that term does sound a little familiar. Yeah, so it, it, and I don't know if they were going to replace them. Mm -hmm. Now today they're replacing the later ones in movie theaters with the digital stuff. Now, right. That's a big thing, as I guess they're pretty expensive. Have you lived in Milton your whole life? Since 1945. Okay. And is your whole family here too? Since, since 45. Since 45, okay. Yeah. Do you have any final thoughts? Do you have any final thoughts or anything you want to add? Well, it's, I think the Centennial is going to bring a lot of these kind of things out, hopefully. Uh, there's a gentleman out there with his costume from the uh, Bicentennial. Mm -hmm. I have a hat in the attic somewhere. I don't know what else. I probably have my dress in the cedar chest. Hmm. Yeah, they, but they are, apparently, the way I understand, aren't doing anything like that this time. Right. They aren't doing the Brothers of the, the Brush or... The hats are. I'm surprised they're not, but you know, it's a new era. Yeah. <laughs>